practice makes perfect. But does it? Nothing in life can truly be flawless. The fact is, even plumbers with years of experience make mistakes quite frequently. Where do they lack? Can their mistakes cause harmful incidents? How can you prevent them? Stay tuned to find out which plumbing mistakes are most commonly made and how you can get rid of them. Over tightening the supply tubes. Plumbers that fail to assess how hard a fitting needs to be done end up over tightening the supply tubes. This mistake can cause issues in the long run as cranking too hard on bolts, pipes, or tubes can lead to cracking of the fitting. What does this mean? Let us tell you. This issue occurs when the plumber keeps tightening the bolts even after they're fixed. Forcing external pressure can cause the black pipes to become weak. It results in the pipe breaking and leaking only within a few weeks of usage. Can the toilet itself be harmed by this mishap? Yes, it can. If the toilet bolts located beneath the bowl and tank are sealed too tightly, it can cause cracks. This small mistake is powerful enough to destroy the entire toilet system. How much does all this cost? While the installation costs for the bolts and toilet bowls are relatively affordable, their repairing costs can go up to thousands of dollars. Apart from the expenses, the leakages can flood and damage items and areas of the house too. Wrapping thread tape in the wrong direction. Ever wondered what kind of tape is used in plumbing? It's called PTFE thread seal tape. PTFE is short for the term polytetrafluorothylene. More commonly, this is also called Teflon tape. Now, we'll tell you how to use this sealing tape the proper way. The correct way to make use is by making sure the thread wraps around the bolt in a clockwise manner. This particular direction of wrapping allows the tape to work more efficiently. What will happen if it's wrapped in an anti-clockwise manner? This will lead to the threads being too loose to function. But oh no, when this happens, it goes against the whole function of the tape. Here's a quick guide for it. Keep listening. First, make sure the tape is firmly wrapped thrice in a clockwise manner. Keep in mind that the last twist should be on the left side. This will strengthen the fitting. Let us brief you on the best PTFE tape to use as there are many types. What's the difference between them? If the fitting is to stop a leak, then it's best to use the thin white or thick pink thread. If the plumbing issue is concerned with a gas pipeline, a special yellow gas rated PTFE sealing tape should be used. Each tape has a different purpose and should be used accordingly to avoid mistakes. What else can go wrong in plumbing? Keep watching this video to know more. Making use of chemicals to clear out drains. Trying to figure out the easiest way to unclog drains? A good start would be to save the use of chemicals for the last option. Plumbers often make use of toxic chemicals like hydrochloric acid to fix clogged drains in an instant. What makes that a problem? Most chemical drain cleaners destroy good bacteria in the drain. This can cause more clogs to occur in the future as the organic matter doesn't get broken down properly. We bet you didn't know that. Oh, then this. The highly concentrated acid causes pipes to erode and mess up the rubber fittings. What can we do other than use chemicals? It's simple. The plumber should use a trap arm to clean out the drain. Take note to do it carefully if the chemical has been poured into it beforehand. The trap arm allows the plumber to manually remove materials that are causing leaks or blockages in the drain. Strong chemicals should only be used last due to their ability to create more issues than solve them. After all, we don't want our houses to flood a few days after the plumber's left. In the future, if a plumber drops by to fix a clog and you see him wanting to pour chemicals first, stop him. Some plumbers carry the wrong tools. Moving on to the next red flag, since being a plumber doesn't require a degree anyone can claim to be one. Not carrying the right tools and just winging it isn't only deceiving, but also unprofessional. Most plumbers carry a complex toolbox with them. Their ability to use them paired with their skills allows them to solve big issues quickly. Which tools shouldn't be used? Slip, joint, pliers, and wrenches used for daily tasks should be avoided in plumbing matters. A common mistake is trying to use the ordinary pipe wrench on a galvanized nipple. This action can cause the pipe to break even and more and leave marks and holes in the walls. What are the essentials for a plumber's toolbox? For starters, one should keep tubing cutters, basin wrenches, wire brushes, electrician's tape, and all types of PTFE seal tape. These are the basic items that can fix most plumbing issues swiftly. 
Are these tools expensive? Not really. It's rare for tools to break or get lost, and they can be useful for years to come. Spending a considerable amount of them once for a long-term use shouldn't be an issue for most. What's the use of plumbers if anyone can get the tools? Truth is, using tools requires skill. Unless you've spent countless hours fixing leaky pipes, sinks, or rusty bolts, you wouldn't know the right way or place to use them. Damaging a valve by applying high pressure. Still with us? Great, let's proceed. Another rookie plumbing mistake revolves around locked valves. Valves can be found near sinks and toilets. If the places where they're built are abandoned, it can cause the knobs to get jammed. A common misconception to solve this is believed to be applying great pressure. Even if the strongest person in the world volunteers to twist these knobs, they won't open. They'll snap like a glow stick. Why does this happen? Due to not being used for a long time, the stem packing seal welds with the valve stem and gets stuck in the same direction. How can we fix it? All it takes is an adjustable wrench to loosen a nut in the stem. This breaks the bond between the two layers and the valve can be used normally. To ensure there are no leaks, give a slight push to the stem nut so it fits well into place. Most plumbing issues take an hour to fix. However, if there are multiple leakages in one household, it may even take days. Having a good plumber is more important than having a random family member who can manage to fix things around the house. Keeping the water supply on during a job. Finally, we've reached the most common mistake that plumbers make. It's no rocket science that when the main valve of the water supply is open, each faucet in the house is filled. Plumbers often forget to ask the owners to turn off the main valve before starting projects. How could this go wrong? It all comes down to the moment when the plumber removes an old valve to fix in a brand new one. When the old valve is broken, this will cause all the water inside it to rush out with full pressure. Oh no! Due to the water gushing out at full speed, the room will flood within a couple of minutes. This is why a good plumber will request to drain unnecessary water and close the water supply valve right at the doorstep. It's crazy how to mistake this small could waste so much time and cost thousands of dollars in managing and repairing. Changing valves isn't the only area this can be a problem in. If the issue lies in fixing a leaky pipe or knob, even when the water supply should be turned on, the leaky area won't be fixed properly till the area Area to be worked on is dry. Rusty pipes and wet bolts won't work properly and may crack easily. Just by closing the water supply, you can save thousands of dollars, plumbing expenses, and most importantly, time. Whenever there's an issue at home with plumbing, it's good to read up on several articles before contacting an expert to handle it. This way, one can be aware of common mistakes and learn how to avoid them. If the matter's a simple one, it can be fixed without external help too. Who knows? Maybe one day it'll come to good use. That's a wrap for this video. Video, we hope you enjoyed learning about plumbing techniques and can hopefully apply them. Thanks for watching. If you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business. You don't make the same mistakes. Plumber Accelerator has put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that'll show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profit will work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link on the description below the video.